Behind the Map, a political play written by dramatist and TVC News correspondent Ola Awako came alive on stage with a strong rebuke of the growing political intolerance in the country. Directed by performance guru Shegun Adefila, the staging of the play attracted a, a cross-section of young persons, including politicians and literary critics. Let's bring you details in this report. <laughs> choreographed spectacle by the gifted steppers troupe of the playwright's poem Roaring Land in Tears did the opening ritual to usher in the cast for the performance of the night. The authors resort to the power of the stage to mirror the vice of political division provided a solid portrayal of how unbridled ambition and the question of political intolerance remain unresolved issues in Nigeria's heavily tribalized political space. I do Anaraji, you do not. Anaraji, I do. It is you, it is you that's not. We are letting it As the audience got wrapped in the plot and unique characterization that made the play an attention grabbing display of talent, its message equally came clear to their minds. <laughs> In terms of the life in that story, it makes everything beautiful. And one can actually, there's a connection between the story, the cast, as well as the audience, because it's something that you can touch and feel. The truth has been, has been told, OR, we're a multi-ethnic society, I think about 200 ethnic groups with our 300 languages, so nobody's going to go anywhere for anybody. Let us embrace peace. There is so much that accounts for Nigeria's divisive politics. Those factors are the subject the play addresses for the youth to learn and avoid in future. We are yet to see passionate, visionary leaders. We are, at this point in time, dealing with dealers. That's why uh, if they do not pay attention to dramas like this, don't blame them because you cannot give what you don't have. So let's hope and prayerfully hope that a new breed will arise from the younger generation. The play wanting um, renovated so many things. It's brought so many things to the fore. And um, one of it is the politics of development and not the coercion we're experiencing today. This is just saying it the way it is. Breaking up, I don't think is going to get us anywhere. There are a lot of marriages up to three generations, so how do we start to do it? When did we get to this level in this country? If what people to live with us, instead of addressing it. And then a moment with the actors as they pointed to how a play of this kind mattered to them. Our Nigeria will continue to tear apart until we come together, until we Build this mindset that regardless of who you are, regardless of where you are coming from, as long as you are in Nigeria, you can be anything, anywhere. We should continue to be good and do what it is that is required from us. We should do what it is that is best and nothing but the best. Actors, they are already actors, so all we just have to do was to paint a picture. Of, of what we think that each of these characters should portray and say, okay, you know what, this is, this is what I want. I want this actor to be solid at this point. So you have to give me that solidness at that point. So with that, we'll have, we'll have a very fantastic job. Thank you for supporting the Award-winning journalist, dancer and dramatist who authored the play could not but give us his personal insight into what inspired the story and why he chose Behind the Map to celebrate Nigeria at 60 out of more than 20 plays he has written. How each and every one of us can work together, regardless of class, to make our society a better place. The message is about nationality over ethnicity. The message is about how uh, Nigerian citizens will live better and not beg to enjoy basic amenities. So let us set our hearts and know the things that we are doing right We want a future of Nigeria whereby our leaders.
that will not take us for granted. Written in 2017, Behind the Map by Ola Wakon follows the footsteps of the older generation of Nigerian writers such as Wale Shuinka and Ola Rotimi, whose literary works have remained enduring legacies in the quest for social change. Oh, yes.